Okay, so so far you may have agreed with me that choosing a good hash function is crucial to the performance of a, a, a hash table. So if we have a bad hash function and then it put all the possible keys into the single slot and then what is going to happen? So no matter what key we have, this, fun key, uh, this hash function always send the new value to a, the same slot and then on this slot we are going to have a lot of collisions right so this is a bad behavior and on the opposite a good hash function should distribute the keys uniformly into the slot and it should not spend as depend on the patterns of the data so this uh, is an, an ideal hash function so we are going to discuss three methods, the division, the multiplication, and then the universal hashing. So for the division, and this is probably the easiest, right? So we, we take a key, and that is the key, K, as the new key, and then we just do a mode M. So why do we mode M? Because M is the number of the slots possible in the hash table, right? So we take an integer k and then we mode an m and we guarantee to have a value between 0 and m minus 1. So let's come back to this example. So we know in this hash table we only have we only have 10 slots and then I'm sorry it should be uh, it should really be oops come on okay give me one second let me erase it Okay, so we have 10 slots, so the indexes should really be uh, 0 to 9. Hmm. Oops. Okay, here we go. We should have 0 to 9 in this case. Okay, so if we have a value, say, 17, and where do, where do we stand? this value 2 in the hash table. If you want to use the 17, and I'm sorry, well, the keys in the hash table is only from 0 to 9, so we have to do a 17 mod 10. And why it is 10? Because 10 is the number of the slots available in this hash table, and then we got a 7. This means the 17 should go here. Okay, and then if we have a 56, 56 we mold a 10 again so we got a 6 so this means 56 should be here okay so this is the the easiest hash function we just take whatever key we have and then we mold by the number of the slots possible in this hash table that is m so we guaranteed to have the new key to be so the key, the hash function, the key to be a value between 0 and m minus 1. So I'm using square brackets because both 1 and m minus 1 are included in this range. Okay, so, oops. That is a division, me a division method. So, well, if we are dealing with adjacent keys hash to the different slots and then well uh, that is a very good case for example we send one and then it goes to slot one we send two it goes to slot two we send three it goes to slot three so if we are dealing with adjacent keys and then that is a perfect hashing function well but if the keys bear relation to m and then that is bad so what do I mean here? So if we send 60, so 60 mod a 10 will give me a 0. And then we send 70. So 70 is the next key. And then 70 will give you a 0 again. And 80, another 0. And then 90, another 0. Oh boy. So now we have the problem because all the values are going to slot 0. So slot on the slot 0, we are going to have a lot of collisions 
So in this case, probably it's not a good idea to use that one. OK, so to reduce the possible, uh, possible number of the collisions, if we want to use the division method, and usually we want to pick the table size m to be a prime number. And that prime number is not too close to a power of 2 or 10. So usually this is the golden standard to make the division method usable. And the next one. So the next one is called multiplication. So for this multiplication, well, we have to pick a constant a, and this a is between 0 and 1. OK? And then for a key, k, we are doing the m multiplied by this part. For this part is the k a minus the integer part of the k a. So k multiplied by a and minus the integer part of the k, k multiplied by a. So in this case, in this parenthesis, we have the free, uh, fractional part of the k a. So this fractional part of the k a is guaranteed to be between 0 and 1. So we multiply by m and then we take the integer part again. So this value is again guaranteed to be between 0 and m minus 1. So those are the allowed keys in the hash table. So usually we want to put, uh, choose a m to be 2 powers something. And then we choose an a not too close to 1 or 0. So well, uh, in one of the research paper, this person suggests that so square break is the square root of 5 minus 1 and then divided by 2 is a good value of the a. So that is another solution that is called multiplication method. So I will see you in the next video. In the next video, we will talk about universal